Hi everyone, in this video I am going to introduce another type of amplifier in the microwave tubes that is TWT, Travelling Wave Tube, TWT stands for Travelling Wave Tube. It is an amplifier which works in the high frequencies and nothing but microwave frequencies. Okay, till now we have seen uh, reflux klystron. In, in terms of klystron, we have seen using the klystron glass tubes. We have seen klystron amplifier and as well as klystron oscillator. So in this video, I am going to start this traveling wave tube. So in the, uh, this particular video is for introduction and what are the various types of this uh, TWT and what is the difference between this uh, TWT and the klystron which we have studied earlier. Okay. So, first TWT stands for Travelling Wave Tube. So, the Travelling Wave Tube TWT stands for Travelling Wave Tube. So, the TWT is a form of thermionic valve or tube that is used that is used for high power high power microwave amplifier designs okay twt is a form of thermionic valve or tube okay there is a tube where we have magnetic fields are coupled and the helical shape of uh, conductor is being placed in between the magnetic field okay so that that design is used for the high power microwave amplifier designs where the signal RF input that is going to be amplified at this microwave frequencies. The TWT can be the TWT can be used for used for wide band radio frequency amplifier design amplifier designs where even now it performs even now it performs well against Well, against devices using newer technologies. Newer technologies. What do you mean by this? That means, okay, this particular TWT is going to be operated at high frequencies, at microwave frequencies, and as well as at very high power applications. Okay, and now we can say we cannot say this TWT is outdated okay every time for the newer technologies it can be adopted and we can use this TWT everywhere where we can use at microwave frequencies TWs are used TWTs are used in applications including including broadcasting radar broadcasting radar and in satellite communication or satellite transponders satellite transponders so, the applications of this TWT's traveling wave tube amplifiers is in 
broadcasting broadcasting nothing but transmitting the signal radar communication where we are detecting the objects and satellite transponder transponder is nothing but transmitter plus responder nothing but transmitter and receiver okay so in both the in many of these applications we are having the amplifiers okay oscillator is a signal after receiving the signal we need to amplify it so for that amplification purpose we need this traveling wave these are high frequencies are high frequency applications so the twt is still widely the twt is still widely used despite the fact despite the fact that semiconductor technology semiconductor technology is advancing all the time is advancing all the time the twt is still widely used despite the fact that the semiconductor technology is advancing all the time so even the semiconductor technology is uh, advanced or uh, the in integration technology or whatever the latest technology is coming now irrespective of that this twt is widely used okay so because of its uh, high power applications <coughs> there are two types of there are two types of twt is available traveling wave tubes are available they are first one low power twts low power twt and second one high power twt low power and high power twts okay so now what do you mean by low power twt low to, low power twt is mainly for receivers okay so the main application of this low power twt is are for receivers these are for receivers and these are for transmitters or for receivers because they are highly sensitive low noise and wide band amplifier in radar requirements radar equipments so these are highly sensitive these are highly sensitive low power <coughs> low noise low noise and wide band and wide band amplifier in radars so coming to the high power twts so high power twts are for transmitters because in the radar communication or any communication if we want to transmit the signal to long distance definitely we should produce high power signals okay that's why we need to amplify using this high power so these are used in the these are used as a pre amplifier for high power transmitters so used as pre amplifier for high power transmitters high power transmitters okay now let us see what are the differences between these twt and klystron so differences between 
TWT and klystron differences between TWTs and klystron so the first difference is the microwave circuit is non resonant in TWT while the resonant circuits are used in klystrons okay so the microwave circuit is non resonant in twt but in there is an, uh, okay while resonant circuits used in klystron we know very well okay resonant cavities are used so that the reflections are going to be generated and the number of oscillations are generated but in this case in the case of this uh, twt there is no such uh, resonant cavities have been used and there is no word resonant actually that's why it is non resonant in nature non resonant circuits are used the interaction of electron beam the interaction of electron beam and rf field in the twt is continuous over the entire length entire length of the circuit but the interaction in klystron occurs only at the gaps of a at the gaps of a few resonant cavities few resonant cavities so the interaction of electron beam and rf field of the twt is continuously over the entire length of the circuit but the interaction of electron uh, klystron occurs only at the gaps of few resonant cavities okay uh, in case of this twt when the electron is being transmitted from the electron gun that reaches the other part of the other end of the uh, traveling wave tube by associating with the uh, what is that rf input signal okay when it is traveling it also travels along with the rf signal the, there is a continuous association with the rf signal but in the case of klystron only at the gap it is having association and the, there is no association at the remaining parts the wave in the twt the wave in twt is a propagating wave propagating wave but the wave in klystron is not okay we cannot consider that wave is a propagating wave in the coupling cavity in the coupled cavity twt is coupling effect between the cavities between the cavities whereas each cavity in the klystron operates independently operates independently okay so in the coupled cavity twt is coupling effect between the cavities where each cavity in the klystron operated independently here uh, the 
coupling is there between the cavities in the TWTs. There is a, a connection between the two cavities. They are working together. But whereas in the um, klystron amplifier or oscillator, the cavities works individually. Okay, no coupling or no connection from one cavity to another cavity. These are the uh, introduction points types of this uh, helical helix TWT and we have also seen the difference between the TWT and Klystron. Thank you.